Hey there, everybody. It's Bill Evans, a.k.a. The Reverend, um, coming at you with some thoughts about some recent technology announcements and what they mean for uh, those of us who, uh, well, for anybody who's trying to market anything online. Apple had their uh, Worldwide Developers Conference a few days before I made this little movie. Uh, they talked about a new operating system called Lion, a new mobile operating system, iOS 5, and something called iCloud. I think all of these are going to have a big impact on the way we work, but uh, the one we're really interested in right now is iOS 5, which is the OS that drives the majority of mobile devices out there, both smartphones and tablets. Um, now, before we go any further, I know some of you are just going, okay, it's it's Evans, he's a big eye whore, and I'm not even going to try and deny it. You know, I've got a MacBook Pro on my desk and an iMac and an iPhone and an iPad, and yeah, I'm a big Apple guy, but even if you're not, first off, I bet you know 200 people with iPhones, and they're on them all the time. And the other thing is, because they're so popular, somewhere north of 85% of all of the web pages served onto mobile devices are served via Safari, which is Apple's uh, browser that's built into its operating system. So um, uh, there's a function in Safari called Reader that has not been available in the iOS and the mobile devices yet. It will be in iOS 5, which comes out in just a couple months. And it's this little button here that says Reader. Let's take a look at what that means. I, what it basically is is Apple's way of getting rid of the clutter. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at our Lived Play site and we'll show you. Here we have our, our banner ads and our, you know, fancy rotating pictures with, with uh, feature stories on them, all the stuff that we all do on, on web pages. Um, and there's a little thing here that says RSS feed where you can, can subscribe to it. But now let's go to an inside page. It's a little different. And um, here you'll notice this is a review of the Apex 230 done by Larry Hall. And uh, that button is changing. Now it says Reader. What happens when we hit Reader? Well, as Apple says, it gets rid of the clutter. And the clutter means all of the banner ads. You think that ads on web pages were white noise before? What happens when there's a button that makes them just go away? What does that do to the value of banner ads? Yeah, I thought that's what you said. And it's not just us, it's everybody. Here's a story, uh, here's an inside page from ProSound News. There's the Reader button, all that fancy stuff all over the place, one button goes away. Here's a really well done piece on uh, wireless systems in ProSound Web's sponsored microphone world special section. And there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, lots of banners and stuff and hit reader and they're gone. Not just for that page. Notice up here it says page one of ten. This is a three part story that you would have to click through to different parts so you can see different Different advertising materials, it's one of the ways that uh, online publishers, quote, increase their inventories by making you click on more than one page. But with the reader, you don't have to. You see little page breaks as you go. And even as you come down here, now all of a sudden we are in part two. That's on another page. It's just pulled all of the content out and brought it forward. Um, here's another site. Here's one that I know a little bit about, um, FOH Online. And here's one of their inside pages. It's an interview with... Uh, Monitor engineer Andy Ebert. Andy's a great guy. Um, and once again, there's that pesky little reader button. And when you click it, everything that's not the content goes away. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that content is king. Um, as we move into a whole new era in uh, in publishing and in in marketing, uh, credible, trustable, reliable third-party content about your products is the way you're going to move gear. Advertising is important. It's the way that you uh, build mindshare and everything. But when you can make those banner ads go away with one button, what do you do? Do you go back to print? We don't think that's the best option. Um, in fact, we haven't completely abandoned, but we're very close to having abandoned print. We've been working for several years on a new format for digital editions um, with our Live to Play Network for Musicians, and, which looks like this. And you can page through it, and uh, each page uh, you can just scroll through the text. There's no zooming on anything or trying to move the whole page around to read it. Um, even the, uh, the contributor mugshots, this one happens to be me, is actually a little performance ba video. I'm going to do that all the way through. And the video is not just um, in the stories. Um, it's also in most of the ads. Here's an ad for KRK Systems. 
Um, there's a little play button in it, and we click on that, and a video supplied by KRK comes up. Click on the button again, video goes away. It's a great little format. Um, it's it's hands-on, it's fun, it's interactive. Um, people are really, really taking to it. Well, now we've expanded that from MI into the pro audio world with Sound Pro Live. Um, this is our first kind of teaser edition, um, just a few pages to kind of show you what it's going to be like. We've broken magazine design conventions like, you know, you have to have a vertical cover because you need an ad on the back page. Well, we don't have a back page. So we get to have a full page uh, picture here. This is Mr. Jim Ebden mixing Aerosmith. Um, uh, and all of the headlines right here on the cover are all linkable. So let's go to one. Uh, well, here's a gear review of the PreSonus uh, Studio Live 24.4.2. Um, again, the text just scrolls right through. You can read the whole thing without moving the page. And uh, if you click here, you get a video version of the review done by Mr. Ken Rendering. Um, go forward, here's uh, our, our church uh, column called Houses of the Holy, written by Jamie Rio. You, again, you scroll through, there's that KRK ad again. Um, you've seen that video, let's go back a couple. Um, here's another one, uh, Don't Piss Off the Sound Guy, Corey Poulin. He's a very funny young writer. Um, uh, any, any story that has a thing in it that says if you're a musician, somewhere somebody wants to see you beaten with a mic stand in front of your children. That's something that uh, sound guys are going to love to read. Anyway, there's uh, there's supporting video here. Um, that's all fun, funny stuff. And there's a Heil Sound ad right across from it with another play button. Hit that play button. And here's a video of a presentation by Bob Heil from the NAB show. Um, guys, it comes down to this. This is the future. I know it. I feel it in my bones. I've been working on this stuff for a long time. And uh, doing online stuff as well as print. You know who I am. You know what we've done. It's not about print anymore. It's about digital, and it's about digital versions of, of cool magazines. And, and here's another thing. What's the common thread going through all of these neat little web pages? There's no reader button. You can't make these go away. Um, and people don't want them to. You know, you click on the video, you get to watch a cool little thing about it. This is hands-on, interactive, fun. People are really taken to this. And like I said, I know. This is the future. This is where we're going. It's and, and I'm not about where we've been. I'm about where we're going. It's going to be a great journey, and uh, we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us for the ride. Thanks a lot.